Hello everybody, today's video is going to be another puzzle from Trafum. This is another morphing style puzzle. Um, as you know, I've got the four and the six layered one, so this is the five layered one. So let's just open this and take a look. And here we go. So here we've got another rubber stand for it. And here is the puzzle. Oh, so much stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the puzzle now. Wow, that is pretty heavy, just like the other ones, though. So now I've got the four, the five, and the six layered, all made by Trafum. Or Tripum is his name, actually. And we've also got the uh, Rexamorphings, which I have solved, and I figured it out, by the way. So let's take a look at this. This is made out of a V-Cube 5. Um, this is my first morphing style puzzle made by Tripum uh, that is not even layered. So I'm not going to run into the even layered parodies, but I am going to be using different algorithms, of course, because, um, you know, for, you know, odd and even layered puzzles have different kind of algorithms. And wow, this one is really, really pillowed. When you take a look at this one here, the four layered one, you can see that this one is more round. And I mean, this is round too, but it's more sharp round like these points go really pointed up like that whereas these ones don't do it so much let's take a look at this one and yeah you can see that the six layered one is like that too it's really pointy on top uh, okay let's go on with the turns I'm really really interested in the turning of this puzzle because it is a V cube 5 and wow that is really really nice and really really smooth Wow, look at the, the craftsmanship on there. You can see where the existing puzzle was. See these faint lines? Everything else around it was built up. Wow, that's just amazing. Wow, these ones are really nice too. And just like a regular V-Cube 5, it's kind of got that bumpy feeling on these outer layers, but that actually goes away after a while. Oh, let's try these ones. Very nice. Another flawless puzzle by Tripum. And here you can see on the puzzle, it says Trifum Puzzle 2012, and underneath it says Ultramorphics. And that's what this puzzle is, the Ultramorphics. And then I've got the uh, Megamorphics, which is the four-layer, the Ultramorphics, which is this one, and the Hexaphobic, which is the six-layered one. And he does make a seven-layered one as well that is unnamed at the moment. Um, and recently he started making an 8x8 version, and that one is called an Octophobic. So, let's, uh, let's scramble this thing up and get right at it. So we can turn it like this, and now we can start shape-shifting, and it becomes shape-shifted very, very fast. I've been wanting this one for a while. Um, ever since I saw Super Antonio Vivaldi's page, and he demonstrated this one as well as the four and the seven layered one. Um, but this was the pillowed one, whereas there's another shape called Rouleau, and it's actually shaped like this. And I prefer the pillowed shape myself. And uh, so when he showed the pillowed one of the five by five, I was like, wow, I really, really want that. So I've actually really been anticipating this puzzle for quite a while. And the turning on this is just so good. Um, yeah, it, it's a little bit wobbly in the corner there, just like a regular V5 that's expected. I can't wait to solve it. In fact, I think I'm going to leave you right now so I can go and solve it. And I'll come back and talk a little bit more about it in a minute. All right, I'm back. It's been a little bit more than a few minutes. It's actually been a few days. I took some time to break this puzzle in. Uh, I've got about 20 to 25 solves on it, and it takes me around seven and a half to eight minutes to solve it on average now. So, um, I feel like I don't have a lot to say about this puzzle. Like, this video is pretty short so far, and um, it's just I've covered so much in my other morphings and uh, tripum puzzles as well. So, anyways, I am going to give you a brief description on the price difference now. Um, Trifum has, or Tripum has uh, changed his prices, and I've got all the prices in case all of you want to know. This puzzle here used to be $450 US, but it is now $350 US. So, when I found that out, I was pretty happy about that. Uh, the reason that he is changing his prices 
is because he's getting better at making puzzles. It doesn't take so long to make them and the materials are easier to get for him now. So of course, if it takes less, uh, it's gonna cost less. So I'm gonna give you a brief overview on all the prices of his puzzles. These are the updated prices. All right, the four by four morphings puzzle called the Mega Morphix. Um, it is $230, I think. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. It might be $250 or it might even be changed now. He didn't actually give me the price on the 4x4 one. But the 5x5 one I know for sure is $350. The 6x6, which is the hexaphobic, is $600. The 7x7, which is unnamed, is $675. The 8x8, which is the one that he has recently made, is $750. The 9x9, which is not out yet, will be $825. The 10x10 is $900. And the 11x11, which will probably be out for a long time, is $1,000. So I know that the prices may seem a little bit expensive, but keep in mind that these are handmade puzzles. This is not machine made. It takes a long time to make these. For instance, his 8x8 puzzle took him 45 days and 200 hours altogether of sanding. It's very, very hard, tedious work. It's hard on the muscles, I know, because I've been doing some puzzle modding. So yeah, I personally, I cannot wait to get the 7x7 seven seven and all the rest of the puzzles as well. Um, I think that they are very, very good puzzles. Um, they might be a bit pricey, but you know, I'm a, I'm a hardcore collector of uh, nice puzzles as well. So to me, it's absolutely worth it. If you would like to get a hold of Tripum to get one of these puzzles made for you, his YouTube channel is in the link in the description. And uh, you can click on that and get a hold of him and you guys can start discussing having a puzzle made for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. All right, everybody, this video's question comes from Pat's Cube 87 Did we already have a question from this person? I think so, it sounds a bit familiar, but either way, the question is, what kind of medicine do you think is the crazy pill? So here's my crazy pill. What kind of medicine do you think it would be if it was real? Please leave your awesome answers in the comment section below, and I also want you to ask a question that I might pick for everybody to answer next week. Please leave your questions and answers in separate comments as usual. It makes it a whole lot easier on me. Last week's question was, what is your favorite thing to do with a Rubik's Brand Cube? And here's a bunch of your answers. Here's the thing about Crazy Man Cuber. Shh, don't tell him I told you this. He's not very smart. Those aren't even his hands in the hey, thing. Hey, what are you doing? Are you telling lies? I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm being nice. Yeah. Trifum. Uh, actually, it's Trifum. Trifum. No, it's Trifum. Try again. Trifum. Trifum. Trifum.